Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the GORUCK M23, which I was particularly excited to finally have a chance to test out because I missed out on the M22 when it was released last year. It went out of stock, it never really came back, and I was bummed because it looked like a very cool, interesting design from GORUCK. I'm a fan of rucksack style bags in general. Even though I love their clamshell bags, I was curious how this would compare to something like the GR1. And so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about what it's been like to test this. I'll show you how I've loaded it out, walk through all the features, and I'll also talk about how it compares to some of the other similar bags that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny, and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the overall aesthetic, the M23 definitely has a pretty classic rucksack style vibe. It's probably the most different as far as appearance among GORUCKS bags. They have a pretty consistent kind of design language around their GR1, the Bullet Ruck, the GR2. They don't look that different. Uh, so this one definitely stands out. And this is an appearance that I've always been a fan of. It feels pretty timeless and versatile. It's a functional look that's not overwhelmingly technical. And it feels like it's going to blend into a variety of environments, whether you're exploring a city, going into the outdoors, or traveling. As far as the materials, the bag feels very solidly built. This uses the same 420D ripstop nylon that we saw in some of uh, GORUCK's newer bullet rucks. And I'm a big fan of this fabric in general. It you know, just kind of molds around everything that's on the inside. It's not as stiff. It still feels like it's gonna be able to handle rougher usage pretty well. Maybe not as rugged as 1000D Cordura, but it still does a good job. It offers a nice amount of weather resistance and it helps keep the weight of the bag down a little bit uh, as it comes in at just under three pounds. Besides that, you have the really nice magnetic buckles for the flap, which we'll take a closer look at later, and then some very reliable and smooth working YKK zippers all throughout. Continuing along the outside of the bag, no molly webbing on this one, so it's got a little bit of a cleaner appearance. On the front, you do have the Velcro patch area that is typical on GORUCKS bags. It includes one, you can remove it, change it. I have a couple of different ones that I've been enjoying recently, so I always like the ability to personalize the bag a little bit. On the branding front, you do have the branding on the Velcro itself. It's pretty subtle, but you got the arrowhead, and then of course on the buckles. But I was happy to see that there's not the white arrowhead that has been featured in some of GORUCKS other bags, like the kit bag and the bullet ruck had that. So it's a little bit more subtle, which I like. And then at the top, you have a really great carrying handle. I didn't use the original version of this bag, but from what I've seen in other videos, this has been improved. So it has the same sort of uh, material and reliability that I've come to expect from GORUCKS top handle. So you can pick this up very easily. Feels like it's not gonna tear, matches the bag nicely. And then moving into the capacity, the bag is offered in two sizes. The version that I have here is the 21 liter size, which is a really great daily bag size in my opinion. I was able to fit all the items that I normally like to carry with me. Didn't feel like the bag got overwhelmingly big. I like that when it's packed out, it still maintained a pretty slim profile, making it great for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit and carrying onto pretty much any domestic or international airline. Taking a look at the harness system, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. The harness system here is very similar to GORUCKS other bags, so you have really robust, well-padded straps. On the inside, they have the newer 210D high tenacity nylon that we've seen in their newer bags, which is much less abrasive than their older fabrics. I've really enjoyed the switch up to this fabric. It's definitely more comfortable, especially right out of the box. It's not maybe as breathable as having an air mesh, but that's kind of par for the course with GORUCK bags. I think it works well. The straps have a nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders. Well reinforced here at the top. Then you have a couple of rows of webbing that are gonna allow you to clip on additional accessories. This bag actually includes a sternum strap, which is a first for me with a GORUCK bag, which is very nice. I you know, maybe wouldn't use it as much with a 21 liter bag, but it's great that it's actually included. This one does have a little bit more prominent branding. It says GORUCK right on the strap, but you do have the ability to adjust it or remove it if you prefer not to have it, but very cool that it's included. And then on the back panel, same as what we've seen with other GORUCK bags. So the newer 210 nylon here as well. So very smooth. Uh, there's a lot of padding. You feel a good amount of support from the frame sheet that's included. And then you do have some slight air channels here, but as with other GORUCK bags, if you're wearing this for a longer period of time, your back will tend to get pretty sweaty. 
Jumping into the organizational options, the bag has a nice variety of pockets distributed all throughout. This is one of the differences I noticed with the GR1 is you just have a little bit more flexibility as far as the organization, which is nice. Starting off on the front, you have a zippered quick access pocket that offers a pretty good amount of volume. This does tend to get a little tight when you pack out the main area, but you can see it still comes up enough to be able to handle something like my sunglasses case pretty comfortably. It's also sized to hold maybe a tablet and also pairs perfectly with some of the pouches that GORUCK sell. So if you have a flatter pouch like the wire dop, this is gonna fit in here perfectly, both the small one and the larger one. So that's a great companion, but if not, just have a nice amount of space here, no other internal organization. So even though it's a fairly tall compartment, anything smaller you place in here will slide down to the bottom if it's not in a pouch. On the sides of the bag, you don't have any sort of traditional external water bottle pockets. The previous edition of the bag did have kind of a standard water bottle pocket, but that's been updated. You now have two zippered pockets and I think this is a pretty cool change. In general, I like when bags have these type of pockets that can work as water bottle pockets, but also have a full zipper to allow you to just store more stuff that you maybe wanna access regularly during the day. These compartments do share volume with the main area, so you kinda of have to pick and choose how you organize everything. And this one here at this top section has enough space for chargers, for pouches. This would have been another good spot for my sunglasses. I currently have my laptop charger in there but my sunglasses case fits very comfortably. And the nice thing about this one is that it does have some built-in internal organization. So a couple of slip pockets here to just prevent anything smaller from sliding down towards the bottom. So a perfect spot for portable battery, a wallet, your phone, anything that you're grabbing quickly during the day, some AirPods, and then it's a pretty tall compartment. So, you know, you have some flexibility there, which I like. And on the other side, you have Another one of these tall zippered compartments here. This is the one that I'm actually using as a water bottle pocket at the moment because it doesn't have those internal slip pockets um, and it's able to handle a 20 ounce water bottle very comfortably. With the amount of space that's offered here, you could probably also fit a 26 ounce Yeti Rambler, maybe something a little bit bigger, but just starts to take up some of the space from the main area. So I prefer to you know, stick with the 20 ounce. And then if you wanna store something else in here, an umbrella, additional pouches that you're grabbing regularly, you do have quite a bit of flexibility here. So really like the implementation there. And then on the back of the bag, of course you have GORUCK's bomb proof laptop compartment. I'm always a fan of the fact that it's a dedicated laptop area. Many of these rucksack style bags, you have to go into the main compartment. So here it's nice that it's externally accessible. It's suspended off the bottom of the ground. Nice amount of padding. So very similar to GORUCK's other bags that have a laptop compartment. This is sized to hold most 14 inch laptops. It says on GORUCK's site, currently I have a 13 inch MacBook Air. You can see there's a little bit of leftover space. My 14 inch MacBook Pro does fit in here, but you can see that anything larger than that would start to get really tight. Even that one, sometimes it gets fairly close to the zipper. So it fits, it's fine, it feels protected, but if you have a 15 inch laptop, you'll need to bump up to the larger version of this bag if you wanna be able to have it fit in this area. Last thing I'll call out here is you have this nice ripstop lining, which is a little bit different from some of the other GORUCK bags that I've used. And then the Velcro area here to remove the frame sheet if you want. And in general, GORUCK continues to offer what I think is really good laptop protection. It feels like my device is protected from bumps and drops while I'm running around throughout the day. Moving into the main compartment, this is a top loading bag, but GORUCK has included a zipper along the side that does allow you to access the main area without undoing all of the buckles. So it provides a little bit of just quicker access. If you swing the bag around or you place it down, you wanna grab something from the bottom. I really like that it does provide that ability as it sometimes can be a little cumbersome to deal with the buckles. And so this is a wide enough opening that you can really take advantage and grab anything that you want from the main area, which is really nice. But then you of course have the actual straps. And this is one of the biggest changes from the previous edition. I know that they had G hooks here instead of these magnetic buckles, uh, which seemed like people were pretty torn on. Um, so I didn't have an experience with those, but I'm always a fan of these types of buckles as they're very secure. They work reliably. They're very easy to unbuckle if you need to get them on and off quickly. And they're just fun to play with. They're one of my favorite kind of fidgety type things. So if you have a backpack like this, it is very easy to clip them, unclip them. They work reliably. And you know, it just is a good experience overall, in my opinion. 
And then these types of bags are always cool because of the flexibility that these straps and buckles provide. Uh, so you can actually store maybe a jacket, a tripod, additional things that don't fit inside of the bag. You can actually, you know, kind of hang them here and tighten the straps up. You can also loosen these to give the bag a little more volume or if you want to place a jacket underneath the flap. And so very flexible as far as the volume and the space that it offers. And then opening the flap up, you do have an additional mesh zippered pocket on the lid. It's interesting that this is on the inside, so you can't access it when the bag is closed. So it's gonna be good if you have something a little more sensitive that you don't want people to grab as easily, but it's not as convenient to use as some of the pockets that I've seen on similar bags. You have a good amount of space here. So this is gonna offer enough volume to hold something a little bulkier. Even my GoPro fits in here comfortably. Um, you know, other charging blocks. They're also a little lanyard with a carabiner that you can use to clip on your keys, or in my case, I just have a little multi-tool. Uh, so nice additional pocket, and then you also have the label, the GORUCK M23 here, kind of hidden, so I like that that's pretty subtle and out of the way. And then as is common with many of these rucksack style bags, you have this drawstring closure at the top, which I think is really helpful for ensuring that rain doesn't get into the bag. You know, this comes around the sides enough to really protect the bag, but then when you can pull this tight, it really just helps keep everything secure. It also expands up to give you some extra space if you have more to carry on a particular day. And then, you know, it just gives you enough access into the main area. It's nice that you do have a lighter lining as it's a deep bag, you know, it's gonna be hard to see. So that provides at least a little bit of help in the visibility aspect and you know, every time I use one of these top loading bags, I'm always reminded of how interesting it is to use this versus a clamshell bag. You don't have to worry about everything spilling out. There's less zippers that can potentially fail. So, you know, I always appreciate the simplicity of these bags and it's a, it's an interesting aspect to consider when you're choosing which is best for you. And then with 21 liters of space, you know, this is a large bucket of space. It's a very simple layout. Also the flexibility of the fabric gives you a lot of capacity. So what I currently have in here is my Beat Studio wireless headphones with their hard case. And then I have my packable rain jacket. I have one of the newer pouches from Air that I've been using recently for all my tech stuff. Then I have the Evergood Civic Access pouch, one liter. And then I also have my DJI Mavic Mini with its hard shell case. And then I have the Civic Access pouch, two liter with some of my EDC items, other tech accessories. I don't always carry all these pouches, but just to show the space. And then the last thing that I have here is my Levitate portable standing desk. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside and it comes up a decent amount, which is how it's able to handle some of those bulkier items really easily. This could also work well for minimal travel. I would easily be able to toss in a packing cube, a dop kit, an extra pair of shoes and use this for a longer weekend trip. And then on the inside of this compartment, you have a little bit of additional organization. You have near the bottom, the same sort of slip pocket that you find on GORUCK's other bags. So a great spot for maybe storing a tablet, a notebook, additional folders, things like that. And it's got that same sort of elasticity. Uh, so I don't really use that too much, but it's nice that that's there, it stays out of the way. And then you have a mesh zippered pocket here near the top. Again, just nice for preventing smaller items from falling into the bottom of the bag. So this is properly secured here. You can see inside of the compartment and good amount of space. At the moment, I just have a deck of playing cards as well as a larger portable battery. So, you know, that works really nicely. And in general, I really like the layout of this main area and throughout the rest of the bag. Everything is well thought out. You have a lot of flexibility. And if you're looking for a versatile everyday bag that has many of the aspects that Go Ruck bags are well known for, but with a little bit of a different aesthetic and layout, and this is gonna be a fantastic option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Go Ruck M23. You can currently purchase this on the company's site, starting at around $245 for the 21 liter size that I featured in this video, which is definitely a bit of an investment, definitely not a cheap bag, especially since this isn't made in the USA, I believe but it is a really high quality bag. It's got a nice feature set and it's gonna compare well to some of the other similar bags that are in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag that this made me think of is the new Bullet Rucks that GORUCK released recently that are also made out of the ripstop nylon that this bag is made of, which I've really enjoyed using. It's not as rugged as some of the other fabrics that GORUCK uses on their bags, like the 1000D Cordura, but 
it just feels really good. It offers a nice amount of weather resistance. It keeps the bag lighter. And then in the bullet ruck form factor, they have the single compartment and the dual compartment. The dual compartment in particular has quickly become one of my favorite kind of smaller EDC bags. It's like a mini GR2. It's got a lot of great organization in a smaller form factor. That one is also offered in two different sizes. So a lot of flexibility there. The single compartment bullet ruck has also been a great alternative. So if you're looking for something compact with a similar fabric that's gonna have Go Ruck's more traditional clamshell style opening, those are gonna be fantastic options to check out. Another bag this made me think of is the Track Bannock backpack, which like this one has kind of a rucksack style aesthetic. So it's got the straps along the front. It's a top loader. The buckle system on that is pretty interesting. Um, it can take a little bit of getting used to, but it works well. And then it's got a pretty simple layout compared to this one. It does have two external pockets that can work for water bottle, umbrella, which I really like. It's got some organization on the front and then just kind of a spacious main area. The bag in general is not quite as big as this one and it doesn't have all the same external access uh, that this one has, but you know, it just keeps things really simple, durable. It's got a padded laptop sleeve and you know, the harness system on that is much simpler. So the bag's gonna be lighter. It doesn't have all the same padding, um, but it looks great. It's one of my favorite bags to take into more professional settings. I also featured it in my Last of Us EDC kind of survival video because that bag, because it's so simple, feels like nothing on it could really break. Um, so if that's the type of bag that you're looking for, something classic and with wax canvas materials, and that's gonna be one of the best options to take a look at. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Modern Dayfarer backpack, which is a really great work, gym, and everyday bag. It's got a very sleek, modern aesthetic. It's gonna look great, maybe in a more professional setting. It is a top-loading bag. It's got the one buckle on the front versus two, so it's a little bit quicker to access it. It also has the ability to open fully flat for easier packing. I really like the simple but useful organizational layout. It's got a couple of quick access pockets, a dedicated laptop compartment. It also has a luggage pass-through and even a dedicated shoe compartment. So it really just checks off a lot of boxes as far as you know a versatile everyday bag. And if you're looking for something that has a little bit more of a modern aesthetic or that's gonna have some of those additional features that might be useful for your day-to-day, -day, then that's gonna be an awesome option to consider. With that being said, the GORUCK M23 holds up really well against all those options and it's definitely lived up to the high expectations that I had for it. I think it's an excellent alternative to GORUCK's already impressive lineup of daily bags. If you're looking for something that's not a clamshell bag, it's more of a top loader or that just has kind of that old school aesthetic while still keeping some of the things that make GORUCK's bag so good, like the harness system and the laptop compartment, and this is gonna be an excellent option to consider. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the M23 and how it compares to some of the other popular daily bags that are currently on the market. And if there's any similar options that you think that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank you for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next one.